Please put your devices on airplane mode. B boy Benji. What's going Appreciate on? Appreciate you being here. Hey man, so basically, um a lot of people, um, they, they haven't had the experience that you had in being able to go to different places and um and 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 try your music in in, in, in different markets, you know what I'm saying? Um mm -hmm. what you think the benefit to to going to other markets like Atlanta in other places is it, it, you moved there for a little yeah. amount of time, right? Yeah, I was there for ten years. Ten years. I, I still have a studio there. Okay, so yeah. Okay, so you you kind of planted your feet out there. Yeah, 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 definitely. It's like uh, man. So I I moved there pretty much like right out of high school. I went to Seattle Central for for a little bit after high school, and then I just went went out there and just you know I I knew I wasn't gonna um, I didn't have any ambition to finish school. I already knew what I wanted to do, so. Pretty much just started over out there. Uh, was lucky to to link up with some good fellas, and we opened a studio, which which I had for ten years. And then within the last two three years, I opened a new studio with my dude Jacob Wadi. And um, yeah, man, it's you know right now the studio is keeping me there. Um, and being down there, it just really taught me. It taught me a lot about the hustle because it's not really about being the best rapper. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's, it's really about being the best businessman um, and it's really just about realizing too when it comes to traveling that like okay your music might not be for everybody so you're gonna have to take a trip to figure out where people like your stuff you know what I'm saying because everyone can be successful but you might just not be in the right market you know um, so yeah Atlanta Atlanta taught me that for sure like I just I just saw so many people that uh, Seattle has it hands down I would say when it comes to musical ability, when you look at the Jimi Hendrixes and the, the you know, Quincy Jones. The talent is here. The talent is, has always been here, but everyone who's ever been successful had to branch out and be like, you know, spread their wings and be like, go over here, go over there, and really see where you're received the best. Because to be honest, it don't matter where you're from. I, I personally feel like you're never going to get the same amount of love until you go somewhere and come back or whatever because people have that mentality like, oh, I went to high school with you, so let me get a discount or, you know, oh, I'll get the CD next time. I got your number. And that's not the energy that you want when, you, when you're doing this as a business. You want people to respect you for, you know, the, the business. And it's, sometimes it's hard when, you, when you're in a city where people know you your whole life. On the flip side of the coin, you can get a lot of support because people have known you your whole life. But it's a balancing act. And I think the best thing is, it's just like anything, you don't know what you got till it's gone. It's, it's beautiful to just go go somewhere for a little bit, come back and be more well received because because of what you've accomplished or what you've decided to branch out and do, you know? Okay, so, okay. You, you, how do you feel like you were received coming back to the to, to Seattle? To be honest, I was gone for too long, in my opinion. I should have probably been coming back and forth a lot more because within within that 10 year time span, you got so many new artists coming up. Um, That's a time for a lot of new right. artists. Right, and so so a lot of the, the newer artists weren't even really hip to me bef before, right? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I came back pretty much just like, okay, I'm gonna have to attack this like I'm a brand new artist again, like super humble, doing shows I didn't wanna do, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Working my way up to the shows I wanted to do. And, um, and, and you know, people who, who who know that I've been doing this for a while, there's always that respect factor there, but I always move with a, a big sense of humility and just, just real humble. And I feel like that's also a part of success is just realizing that you're really only as good as your last hit. It don't matter what you did 10 years ago. If you ain't got nothing to show for it today. Do you think that that's like a, okay. All right, before I go into that, let, let me ask this. Um, On the tip of you moving back and forth and stuff like that, um, what what are what are some of what are some of like the qualities that you feel like um, when you came back, you came back with that wasn't available or that people just wasn't hip on or, or you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Because there's more of a music market yeah. for hip hop and black artists in Atlanta that that weren't here. What do you think? So. You made me think about something because I'm big on the law of attraction. And so the, the dude who first ran the four minute mile, 
the year that the year that he broke that record and did it, twenty thousand people did it. You know what I'm saying? Because a part of it is just knowing that and having role models and people around you where you could say, He's doing it, I can do it too. Atlanta is big on that. You could go to the mall, you could be you could be getting something to eat and you see somebody famous, you know what I'm saying? And you'd be like, Dang, like I could do it too. You know what I mean? Does that change? Like since we got a lot of a lot of different races that that's done well in hip hop in 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 Seattle, do you think does does that change? Like if is it the same? Can you look at a white rapper and be like, oh, at, since Mac Lamore made it, I yeah. can make it? Well, I could look at any. Or, I could or, look or at do anybody. You think it's better to have a black artist. Uh, I I don't discriminate on on race, but I feel like me being a black man, it. It's natural that that it's gonna affect me in a different way when I see another brother doing something, just like it probably would for an Asian person or a white person. Because maybe you in a city where there's no Asian people doing it, and then you see somebody doing it, and you're like, "Oh wow, I could do it too." You know what I'm saying? So just us as minorities, man, we've always gotten the short end of the stick, and so just to see see black people just wealthy and doing doing their thing, it's like you know you that you don't see that everywhere. You know what I'm saying? So so for me personally, yeah, it was empowering to see black people doing doing their thing at a high level. But I think the same rules apply for any race, you know? So so how how did that make I mean do you feel like you still got the grind or 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 the mentality that you came home with? Like, did you come home with like a mentality like, oh, I'm about to take this back to the town? Yes. Like, do you yeah. feel like all that's still there? Or, I do. or do you feel like, or has any of it been kind of like, kind of dulled because of like, you know what I'm saying, certain reactions that just weren't to what you thought they should be? Yeah, I mean, a little bit of both. I, I, I think what I've realized is that it's important for me to be bi-coastal because whenever I stay anywhere too long, I start falling into everything that that place has to offer, bad or good. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like Seattle naturally, like, you know, everyone's smoking weed. It's like hippie town, kind of it rains a lot. Like sometimes things move at a slower pace. People are still getting to the bag in their own way, but sometimes they just take their time. When you go to a New York or ATL, you know, stuff stays open later. People are not sleeping. They are, they are constantly... They're constantly on it, so I kind of came back feeling like I could run. Or there's somebody working. Or there's right. somebody working, right? So somebody's so, so doing that, something. So, so that work ethic is instilled in me from there, and then I come back here where I feel like stuff's moving slow, and I feel like okay, I can run laps around this place. You know what I'm saying? Um, and and that it's once again, I don't necessarily feel like you have to live anywhere for a long time to to have that energy. It's just more about realizing that okay, this is what this place is good for. This is what this place is good for. I can't be anywhere too long. I need to keep it. I need to keep shaking. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, Cause everywhere you go, you learn something. And, and you know what I'm saying? I, I want to keep learning. I think that's a big part of progress. You know? So. Yeah. 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 Damn. Who, who are some of the people that? Cause I, I feel like when you came back, right? Well, before, like when you was gone. Yeah. Like. I'm gonna give a time frame. When you were gone, probably back in like 2000. Eight, mm-hmm. six to two thousand like nine like like you were like niggas was like that's B boy fidget bro he 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 bro he he moved to da 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 or he mm-hmm. went to da 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 he mm-hmm. doing his thing da 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 like mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying like uh you were kind of like the prodigal son like you know what I'm saying it was mm-hmm. like 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 bro like that's a dude that that that's very serious about his music. And that, you know what I'm saying, got his priorities in, in order. And it was just like, it was like, you want to induce that niggas wasn't going to be surprised if you just fucking blew all the way the fuck up at any fucking moment. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, like, um, who are some of those people that you see? Or, or are you paying attention to like the new artists in Seattle right now that that you could see that could possibly if if they could take if they could do what you did and just leave and possibly go and get some love? Do you know any of those type of artists or 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 do you got anything that you would say to those type of artists? Let's see. Um, 
man there's a lot of people there's a lot of people working and i almost don't want to name too many people because i feel like i'm gonna forget and leave somebody out but you know much blessings to everybody that's grinding yeah, you in my Seattle. brother bro you're gonna be able to get back on here we're gonna talk we're yeah gonna yeah plenty of these bro. yeah so yeah if, yeah if you say some names now bro it, it won't yeah. matter bro nah but there's there's a there's a lot there's a lot of cats that i see that they they got the juice but um i guess what i would say to say to everyone is just you know just like believe in yourself you know what i'm saying because like no one else is going to do it for you um and and really it's like yeah when it comes down to it man it's 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 all it's all about it's all about believing and it sounds corny but it's just the truth man like you know like you walk into a room full of um full of people let's say you are let's say you travel somewhere and you in a good situation you in a room with some good a and r's and some execs and some people that can do something for you and they really scrutinizing you they really like they really are they're not going to be impressed very easily you have to have more belief in yourself than anybody else like not nah, i this is that shit like you just don't know it yet but this is this is it and and that 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 energy translates into the bag you know what i'm saying like I, i've seen it happen time and time again with people like i said who might not be the best rapper might not be the whatever but it's it's also about tapping into to whatever makes whatever makes you special like i came from I came from breakdance and I came from the b-boy community and when I started really going hard with rap I made a point to not change my name because all the DJs in the hood already knew me as b-boy fidget it's a big part of who I am and I embody that even though um, you know I'm not as active on the on the breakdance tip now um, but it's a big part of who I am and, and, and it makes me unique you know what I'm saying because there's no there, there was nobody else and there really ain't that many people still to this day that um, that are moving like that and so so I, I, I held on to that energy or whatever because I felt like that's what makes me special. So it's about finding what makes you special. Everybody has that. And once you find it, you know, hone it, cultivate it, and, and believe in yourself, you know, way more than any, anybody else. Uh, I've had artists, I've had times when I've had to believe in, in that person more than they believed in themselves, and it never works. You know what I'm saying? It never works, you know? So, like, yeah, you can't hold somebody's hand through this. You, you, you gotta, you gotta have to walk walk through it yourself and um and love it you know what i'm saying love it because it's not easy um you're not it might take you longer than expected normally anything anything great takes you longer than expected to make happen you know what i'm saying so you're gonna come to that crossroads where if you just in it for the bag you're gonna quit you know what i'm saying it's you 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 really gotta love this shit and um and i do and so I would just say, believe in yourself, love yourself and love what you're doing and, and find whatever's special about you and grab onto that, you know? Hey,